Well, he's hurt. Uh, it's certainly a loss. It's opportunity for someone else. Uh, that spot of the ice, especially where you've struggled so much face-offs and beyond face-offs, this is obviously a time for guys to really wake up that have been struggling to this point. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I don't think we need an injury to to accent that. Uh, uh, we need to get uh, better play, more consistent play out of a number of people. How bad do you feel for Dubinsky, who in that spot is, I'm guessing, trying to fire up the team, salvage something from that game? Just yeah, yeah. I mean, he, you know, he, he, he was beginning to, I think, find his game. He certainly was helping us with face-offs. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, we all know how Doobie plays. Uh, um, yeah, I, I, I feel bad for the guy, but we, we got to push on and, uh, and get ready to play tomorrow night. Yeah, so many guys that are struggling offensively. Is it frustrating as a coach to know where to go, where to push, what to fix? Because you know, well, many options do you have? I'm frustrated with myself because I haven't been able to find an answer. I, I think I, I think that falls on me a little bit too, not just the players, in, in, in trying to uh, find an avenue or, or, or something that will click in uh, to help them. Um, yeah, so they are, I am. Uh, we have still found a way to, uh, to keep ourselves above water here. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this team just to play another game, uh, just so we can get get rid of what happened last night and and get back playing. But uh, uh, I, I am, a lot of my frustration is with myself that I haven't been able to help them and find a way to kickstart them. Do you have a team before that, that you feel is good, uh, has talent, and has played consistently below that level, the, the players? All, te all teams go through it, but this is, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, but th th this is, I think you go through it during a year, a long year, this started right from the get-go. And I think that's what bothers me the most is that uh, uh, you know we still have put some wins in the in the bank, and uh, I still don't think we've seen our team be the team that I think we can be. Uh, that's a, that's that's a very dangerous situation. A team that we can be, we need to be. You know, you always talk about potential. That's a killer. Uh, uh, so yeah, we're going to keep on working at it, trying to find some solutions to it. Uh, and see if we can get some good things to happen for us. Consider it all not the, uh, not the way you want to get a rallying point, but could, could this injury with, with Dubinsky be a, a thing that the guys can rally around, especially the centers? Well, I, I think the players care for Doobie. I mean, he's a, he's a great teammate. And uh, I, I think when you start playing the games, it's not let's do this for Doobie. I don't think it comes into that. I, I think it just gives more people opportunities. I'm still not sure what the center ice position is going to be tomorrow night. Uh, uh, other than Wenny and, and Luke, uh, uh, we'll, we'll have to make some of those decisions today before we get ready to play tomorrow. I was going to ask you, considering moving Nick back? To I'm not going to go over. I haven't even talked to the coaches okay. yet, so I I'm, I'm probably won't tell you guys anyway until we play. Towards speaking of rallying points, can a, can a defeat like last night being a, rally, being a rallying point, as angry as the team was and probably you were last night? Uh, well, I, I again, I, I, these are proud athletes. Uh, uh, if we need that to rally us, so be it. it, it uh, I, I think this team has uh, really been consistent in trying to play the right way. Uh, I, I, last night was just a game that, it, like I look up at the clock when the breakaway is going, when Z turns it over, I, I said, well, he has time. I looked at the clock, and, and you know what's going to happen. You know he's going to score right before that clock is, is dead. And, and that's just the way a lot of things went. I thought we had a good first period, uh, other than a, a turnover uh, that we, we didn't get the puck out and, and then we chased the puck. I thought we had some good energy in the first period, but it wasn't meant to be. Uh, I, I'm not interested in rally points. I'm interested because rallying points happen for a, a game. I'm interested in this team consistently being who it is. And it just goes back to the earlier questions about other guys getting going. I want to see our team as what we can be. Uh, and, and so I think that's my biggest rallying point. With that in mind then, is that one of those games last night as well? Every, everybody has a game like that, or is there something deeper that concerns you about that? Well, I, th I think it's a little bit of both, honestly. Uh, uh, we, we threw it away. We didn't break, I mean, I, I, I watched it. Uh, 
Uh, Lars didn't go through the paces of, of chances for, chances against. It just, it, it was, there was no sense. We, we want to throw that in the garbage. But there certainly were things that were in that game that have been in our game, uh, other games prior, that, uh, that we talked about after practice in, in a short little meeting before I let him go today. Uh, yeah, so you, you got to be really careful, and I, and I think the coaching staff has to have a little patience here. I, I think everybody's looking to, yeah, you can get into a panic mode and start over coaching too. And, and oh, we got to fix this, we got to fix that. They didn't dive on a 2 one there. It's, that didn't happen off of, you can, you can kill yourself with fixing things, and then you paralyze your team even more. I want them to go play. And, and they know how to play the right way. I hope, hopefully we'll get a game of them playing the right way. No, no, I don't. I don't. I, I think it was, a, uh, uh, it was a weird game. Uh, again, I, I, I thought our first period was, was good enough. Uh, I felt comfortable going into the second period uh, that we were going to be able to come back. But uh, Powell played goal. Uh, Calvi falls. Dubia has a stick in the wrong way. It, it just, and things just, third goal never goes in on Bob. I think that deflated us a little bit. Certainly not blaming Bob, but uh, that 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 was the one that it, it you know we get a good stick on McDavid. We check him. We have people around him. We get a good stick. They get a good bounce. They throw it in the middle of the net. It's in the net. So a lot of things went wrong. So uh, uh, we're, we're pushing by it. I thought they practiced well today, and uh, you got to be really careful, guys, that we can't be in their way because you don't like the seven to two score the night before. You can really get into a bad situation over coaching. Uh, we brought up a couple of points, and we're just going to go play. Uh, teaching, la preaching last year about initiating, and you wanted your team to be the team that initiates and, and has that fight right from the start, not as an answer, but as, a, as dictating it. Yeah, if that's who we are. Yeah. yeah. Have you had that consistently since no. the middle of last season? No, no, we haven't. Did that get lost in that winning streak? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I think uh, uh, I think when this team clinched very early. I think some things got lost there. Uh, I don't think I did a good enough job coaching that situation at the end of the year when you clinch with 11 games left. Are you kidding me? Not too many teams are in that situation. I think you can get into some things. I'm not sure if that carries over. And this is where this is what I say: you got to be really careful uh, of overanalyzing here. We have 19 wins. Uh, we have found a way to win, win games. And uh, we're not going to overthink it. We, we're going to try to get better tomorrow night by trying to do the things we do. When he was one of the guys before practice, was working extra with Kenny. Curious what you thought about that. And do you, would you like to see more guys that are struggling put in extra work? Always, yeah. And, and guys do. And guys do. Yeah. You always, you, you, when it's over, you always end up asking another. Go ahead. I'll, I'll answer. No, no, no. Please go ahead. Because I, I, I was, I, I didn't answer last night, but I'll answer them now. So I'll answer them all right now. No, I just have one more on, on Johnson and Savard last night. I mean, I'm not going to nitpick players. I'm not, I'm not going to get into individually nitpicking on a seven to two game. It's not unfair. Put the whole gang of them in there, including the coaching staff, in that situation. Okay, I'll answer it that way. About the 7 2 game, how tough is it to lose a guy like Dubinsky with 90 seconds left in a game that you're losing? It happens. It happens.